Hello there, folks, and welcome to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Stephen Bresnan. I'm super excited to bring to you today the Springfield Armory Model 2020 Waypoint Bolt Action Rifle Review. Later in this video, we will be testing it out at the range, so stay tuned for that. Let's start by taking a look at the buttstock. It features about a three quarter inch thick medium rubber buttstock, meaning it's not overly spongy or overly stiff. Then coming forward, you have a very nice high quality hand laid carbon fiber stock that doesn't have that hollow feel like some others do on the market. It has flush cups on both sides of the buttstock here so you can attach your cutie sling. Now it's available in two paint configurations and it's also available with an adjustable cheek riser or comb height adjustment. It does have a built in little bit of comb rise though and it does have a cutout here so you can easily remove your bolt. Then coming forward, you have about a 90 degree grip on, angle on this and a pretty substantial palm swell, which I actually find very comfortable in my opinion. Then coming forward here, you have an all metal trigger guard and bottom metal. The magazine release is a push button inside of the trigger guard. I actually prefer a paddle release on the front or rear of the magazine well. The magazine is still relatively easy to remove once you get used to that configuration and it can use PMAGs or AICS pattern magazines. This happens to be the 308 Winchester model. It is also available in 6.5 Creedmoor and of course this is a short action variant. It features a very nice all metal receiver here that has a Cerakote on it for rust and corrosion resistance, as well as the integral recoil lug. So unlike a traditional Remington 700 receiver, it doesn't have the recoil lug sandwiched between the barrel and the receiver. I like this design better. It's also spot bedded and pillar bedded into the hand laid carbon fiber stock. It has a nice slim profile bolt stop or what I call a bolt release on the left side. You can go ahead and remove that bolt features two locking lugs, a mini claw extractor in one of the locking lugs, plunger ejector, it's spiral fluted, has a removable bolt knob, so you can swap that out if you desire, it's threaded on there, and a very nice all metal bolt shroud at the rear. Let's go ahead and put that back into the receiver. It runs extremely smooth and feels tight in the receiver all at the same time. So it appears to have very good tolerances and run very smooth despite being spiral fluted. And I say that because oftentimes I find that spiral fluted bolts in high quality receivers actually don't run all that smooth. The rifle features a very nice two position safety with a trigger tech field trigger that's adjustable down to about two and a quarter pounds. I believe it's advertised to just down to two and a half, but I've often got mine down to two and a quarter. Um, it has a 90 degree bolt throw and the safety when on safe does not lock the bolt in place. Um, something I would like to see with these triggers is an option where when on safe locks that bolt handle in place. That way if you hit brush when you're hunting it doesn't accidentally pop open. But that's very much a personal preference. Then coming forward down the fore end here you have a relatively flattened bottom so it's great for red eyeing on a barricade or on a bag. A little bit of an angle cut on the edges towards the front. It does have integral M lock built into the bottom here, which is awesome because that allows you to attach things like this Magpul bipod. Then you have about a little bit beefier than a medium a contour on the front, I would say, if you hold it with your hand. It feels a little bit more boxy and fat than, say, a Ruger American, but it's not like so fat that it's like a bench rest style stock has a flush cup on both sides of the forend as well, so you can easily attach that QD slate to the front. Features a very nice high quality carbon fiber wrapped 20 inch barrel on the 308 Winchester. It's threaded 5 8 by 24, and it does come with a Cerakoted radial muzzle brake, but I've replaced that with a Silencer Co. ASR brake so I can put my suppressor on it. It does come with a five round capacity magazine, in this configuration. This particular rifle did come with a 20 MOA Picatinny scope base, um, but you can use any Remington short action scope bases on this receiver. The overall weight on this rifle in 308 Winchester with the carbon fiber barrel is 7.5 pounds. 
so light enough for moderate backcountry hunting. The overall length on this rifle is 41.5 inches, so actually quite short, which is great and compact for traveling or backpacking through the woods. The bolt is made of 4140 steel and is fully nitrated. It also features a hybrid dual feed ramp inside the receiver, an enlarged ejection port, and a nice coating on the raceways, and I believe that's why it runs so smooth. So now that we've gone over the basic specs of this rifle, let's go ahead and see how it performs at the range. Using the Hornady ELDX loads with a Steiner T5XI, roughly zeroed at 100, and this is the fir literally first group out of this gun, so. Pulled the last winner, that would have been quarter inch group. The two bullets are touching. First two. Thanks for watching Bullets for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.